Good morning. It's another misty morning on the Simple Ground Homestead and today I get to start early and do something awesome. I'm gonna dig my own well by hand. Well, with the shovel. So, you know, any of you that have been following this journey has have known that uh, we've gone through a bunch of different options for water and this after lots and lots and lots and lots of research I've come down to this uh, digging my own shallow well it's it's exciting and I want you to join me alright guys through this mess is where I am going to start digging my well. So the first thing I have to do is clear out a spot. Now, this well is something that's going to be a little bit odd. Um, I really doubt that many places will uh, have this type of a scenario. But the idea is there's enough water about 10 feet below the surface. Now this is an assumption until I get there, right? But assuming that there's enough water about 10 feet below the surface um, that if I create a large opening that opening can fill slowly over time and I can draw from that opening. So the idea is to dig a hole, pack the bottom with uh, gravel and put a big um, well casing in the middle, fill it back up and seal it and I'll have water. So here are my two big trees that are going to be the guardians of the of the well. I'll build the well off to the side just to make sure that uh, the guardians don't soil the well. <laughs> and cross your fingers with me. Let's see if we can get it dug. Okay, after a little bit of clearing and uh, yummy breakfast, I have a spot to start digging. So I'm going to grab my pick and I'm going to pull out a bunch of these uh, root balls and stumps uh, that I've cut and once that's done I can start digging my hole. Woohoo! Alright, for anybody who hasn't tried this yet, you can use a pick to pull out little tiny stumps and blackberry roots. Makes the process really easy and you don't have to stoop over much. The state of Washington where I'm at allows a property owner to dig his own well according to code but uh, not decommission the well so if anything goes wrong here I have to hire a, a professional well driller to come and decommission it so you know the thing I'd like to say to you before you do any well um, whether you're doing it yourself or hiring a professional know the law before you get started. Lots of pitfalls in the regulation these days. Anyway, um, my hope is that 10 feet down I'll find water, maybe a little bit less according to these uh, that I can find them sooner. Then I'll dig three feet past the water, put a, a well casing in the center, and backfill it with gravel and then I have to seal it with a bentonite clay. Really important that I do that right because that's one of those pitfalls that I was telling you about. One of the professional well drillers in the area, he's coaching me a little so if I don't uh, know exactly what to do he's volunteered to help me out a bit and he's been helping me a lot so far and he's been telling me that the idea is to get a big enough collection area to be able to collect the slow trickle of water um, to provide the daily output that we need. So I'm going to dig a hole about my size. Um, I would say it's going to be about three feet in diameter and I'll go straight down until I hit water and then I'll go down until I start drowning. Okay, maybe not that far. Let's go for it. The only thing I'm not nervous about is the actual digging. I love to dig. Let's see how this goes.
lesz a romén, kínálok a teraszon, hogy le mi a faszval lesz a romén. Well, I'm making my way down, but I'm killing the battery of my camera and I need to save some battery for later. So we'll cut to the next scene. Whatever that may be, I can't tell the future. See you on the other side. Alright guys, just made it to three feet on this lower side. Started using this bucket to help out. I'll soften the dirt and I'll give it a scoop. Toss it out. Anyway, thought I'd give you that update. Really the soil's been relatively the same. This uh, really wet, crumbly, silt clay loam. It's a lot of fun, guys. I am digging my own well. Sweet, huh? Oh well, I'll get back to it. So my goal here is to make the hole big enough to be the you know, the appropriate size for the water, yet as small as possible. So I have less dirt to move, and so I don't have to add so much bentonite clay back in when I'm done. All right guys, I've been digging for just a little bit longer. I think it's been about an hour and a half now. Anyway, I'm down to whatever that is, five feet. <laughs> um, no water yet, but the ground is getting really wet. So I might be there in another two feet or one foot. We'll find out. Uh, and the rain is coming. So the sky is wet if the ground isn't wet. Uh, Audrey has been helping me with the bucket. I scoop the bucket full and toss it up to her and she dumps it and tosses it back down to me. Uh, but right now she's heading with the kids over to get uh, over to get an umbrella to protect the other camera. I'm using my phone for this. Anyway, down I go. This is cool. I mean, how many people get to dig their own well? How many people like it? You're weird, Jared. You're weird. But I like it. I do. And down I go. Down, down, down. I guess I should point at the dirt. This is what the dirt looks like down in the bottom of the well. Uh, hello. Anyway. Looking pretty good. I've had a few areas of this uh, gravel mi dirt mix and a lot of this heavy dirt, uh, well, wet dirt, very damp. The colors on my phone's camera aren't nearly as good, but gives you an idea of what I'm digging in. Good soil and it's not gonna cave down on me. Look at that. <laughs> I'm not worried about it caving in on me. All right, we'll keep digging. All right guys, look, water. This is six feet and it's starting to pour in. Okay, pouring is a, uh, isn't the right term, but it's there, ta-da. And it looks fairly clear too, that's amazing. This is dirty dirt for clear water. Oh, all right, I'll dig some more, see if I can find it some more. Start standing in a puddle. Hi guys, we're working away as fast as we can, uh, okay. about seven feet now, and Ready. I'm just trying to bail water out fast enough that I don't Daddy. get my butt boots muddy, and mud out in between. Okay. Here we go! So we let me up as well, let's go.
sarò in chinalo che perso con la mia forza e sarò Hey guys, Yana Muddy Mess, look at this. Woo! <laughs> so, Audrey and I made it down to eight and a half, almost nine feet. And at that point, we just couldn't stay ahead of the water. It was five buckets of baling out water and one bucket of dirt. <laughs> so, we might call it good there. There's half a chance that I'll get my long post hole digger and try to go down just down to 10 maybe but I I don't know if there's a need um, I have my hip waders on so and and the water filled clear up to the top of my hip waders so uh, that's two and a half feet at least I don't know how full it would be when it was all done so I think I might call that uh, good we'll let it sit for tonight uh, got it all blocked off and we'll take a look at it tomorrow. So we'll see what what it looks like tomorrow. At the beginning of the video, I put a little blurb about safety. I wanna reiterate it here at the end of the video, just in case you skipped past it and you made it this far. I'm not trying to tell you that you should do this at home. In fact, what, I would, what I've been doing myself is extremely dangerous. If you took anything from this message, or from this video at all, I'm not trying to tell you you should do this. Take my experience and learn from it. And if you do anything at all, do it safe. And when you dig a hole past four feet, it could cave in on you and you could die. Yeah. And if you're bent over, that's all that's necessary, you know? So be careful and you know, this is FYI more than DIY, okay? From what I can tell, I have a lot of footage, so I'm going to sign off and say thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned for the rest. By far is the well done. We have three feet of gravel and then we have to seal it. And I still need to go pick up all the materials, so I may not have it done tomorrow, but the next day. But that's pretty good. And then we have to do a, a test, uh, uh, see how the water does, see how much water I can pump out, see if it clears up, and then go get it tested to make sure it's clean. So all of those things before the well is officially done, done, done. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. I'd love to hear what you have to say um, and that you're thinking about. And go ahead and put those in the comments below. Man, I am a mess. Oh, wow. <laughs> Perfect. Just... Something else I should say. Digging a hole like that is more like a marathon. Like running a marathon. You have to think with every scoop. That's one scoop more. That's one scoop more. I just scooped one more scoop and it's gone. You can only dig a hole like that one scoop at a time. And I am sore. I'll see what I feel like in the morning. Yay! Maybe one of these days I'll run a marathon to see what it's like. Anyway. I'd better be done. I'd better be done.